Conrad. Yes, sir. What do you? Uh, is there anything that you're watching besides AEW? Oh no, yeah, I'm watching WWE. I'm still catching some uh, New Japan and Ring of Honor and MLW. I'm not watching it every single week, but you know, I saw some of the uh, fun stuff they did on Impact a few weeks ago, and uh, I dug that. And I fast forward through Raw and SmackDown, but I slowed down enough to catch it. And I saw Rhea Ripley win the title the other night, and that was a cool moment. And what about NWA? Yeah. NWA? Yeah, I have seen some of that. I watched their whole pay per view start to finish. I haven't watched uh, any power. What'd you start think, Conrad? Right, what'd you think? Beginning. I thought what'd it was good, especially good? based on the length. I thought the length of the show was good. It wasn't something that felt like it was a chore to get through. I did think, uh, you know, there's some spots that maybe they'll they'll work on a little bit and improve. But I, it was a it was a nice first effort. I'm looking forward to the next one. Give me how uh, great, how nice. great, let me, how great is the studio look and feel. That Tremendous. The, and I told Billy that this past week, and I said, your biggest issue will be this studio, because eventually there will come a time where they will either want to grow or someone else will want them to grow, and the first thing they're going to say is, we can sell more tickets. Yeah. And that studio, is it makes it different. Everyone else says we're going to be different. And then you turn it on, you go, okay, well, if, as soon as you turn this thing on, you go, okay, that's different. I mean, I grew up with George Championship Wrestling. And that's exactly what it looks like to me. The, the the star of that show is the studio, and 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 every right. everybody else will catch up. But you you're drawn to exactly what you said. This is different, and that's what catches your eye more so than a singular talent. Let's not just be dismissive of the talent or say they don't have good talent. I'm just saying the the studio is the draw, at least right now for me. No, and you, and you make a very good point when you say everybody says they're different, but you basically see see the same thing, but in a different manner. The, same the studio thing. is it. great because not only does it remind all of us who grew up with that type of wrestling, but the new fans who have never seen that, and it looks cool with the flags and the bold letters, and you know everything's old school. It also now, here's yeah. the other sorry, Tony, but here's the other key component, and I've noticed for being there for two days, that studio basically eliminates guys from wrestling for the decibel level to change because that's what everyone does today in wrestling they they wrestle for the decibel level to change they're looking for the pop of the move that place holds i don't know a couple hundred it's not going to it doesn't change that much so you actually have to go out there and work through your character and storytelling to get a reaction it because the decibel level doesn't change so it basically handcuffs the boy in a positive way. I'll tell you what, too. If you, I, I used to attend the uh, Georgia Championship Wrestling. I've been in the studio as a fan a couple times, right? The one thing the studio thing I like about it is, is the fans know if you're loud enough that they can hear you specifically. Yeah. Right, like, you know, like in, that, in that atmosphere. So it's like it kind of like, and if you watch old Ric Flair interviews, like of the Georgia Championship Wrestling, and he you would say something. Someone out in the crowd. Well, no, the ladies would be like, well, like saying stuff out loud that, that they would that they wouldn't be heard. You know, like you could hear the ladies like talk about Rick Flair, like you know, while he's talking something. That's that's the thing I love about it, is that that ambiance where you 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 hear somebody cutting the promo and it's cutting right to the heart of a fan, and that fan is like yelling right back at you immediately. You can hear you can hear the bill. That that's what I like about it, you know. It's like good. It's like an honest fan reaction instead of being part of a big crowd, you know, where you just get drowned out. That, that's yeah, I remember like. Dusty Rhodes would do that too. And he called out some fat girl once, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> and he.